Hi! Today I just wanted to take a few moments to address something that I've been talking with my clients about um, this week, which is this idea of tuning into your body and self-care. Um, just starting out, I want to be able to redefine self-care because I think sometimes there's this stigma around self-care that it's in some way selfish. Let me just reiterate that self-care is not the same thing as being self-centered or selfish. You, c It is most essential to take care of yourself, to tune into your body, to understand what's going on with yourself in order to be able to best serve those around you and to really make an impact like you're so created to do. So I'm going to give a couple of um, just examples as we go through today. Bear with me because I'm a visual person, so I figure some of you out there might be visual as well, but I don't know how effective these demonstrations are going to be. Um, but just defining self-care. What is the purpose of self-care? Essentially, it's to tune into your mind and body in order to live your healthiest life and to equip those around you to live their healthiest lives in doing so. Um, the best example I love to give for this is that think of yourself as a cup, okay? I'm such a mug person. I'm obsessed with mugs. This is my favorite one. <laughs> so I'm going to do a demonstration with these mugs here. If you are constantly trying to pour your love and your joy and compassion and all of these wonderful fruits of life, into those around you, okay? Think of this as you, and this is, say, your best friend and your your parents, okay? And this is you. And you're deciding, okay, I'm going to pour love into my best friend's life. I'm going to give joy when I'm with my parents. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You're constantly giving, okay? Giving is great, but it's about how we're giving, all right, so if you're pouring constantly into these other people's lives, your cup is eventually going to run dry because you're just pouring out, all right? And these people are receiving, which is great. Now, if they're going around and pouring out, it's fine, but eventually the, the love, the joy, the peace, all of that is going to run dry for all of you. And in the long run, that's not what we're wanting. So instead, think of yourself like this. You are being filled by an external source, not, not of other people, okay? Because if we run dry, then we're going to other people and we're saying, hey, like, who's going to fill me up now? And it's this constant battle for validation, for constant battle for pulling from other people for that affection and that peace and that everything that we need to thrive as human beings, Okay, so if you are then not depending on other people and you're not so concerned all the time about pouring into other people's lives and you're just there to accept and to just embrace all that, whatever you want to call it, I believe in God as the creator of the universe and the giver of peace. And so that's who I look to to constantly be filling me. And when I'm not going and trying so hard on my own to fulfill those needs in other people, and instead just allowing that to be in my own life and saying, okay, here, fill me up, it's going to trickle over. It's going to run into these other people's lives and into the people below them and into the people below them. And then it's never going to run dry. It's this love, this peace, this joy that we're not having to get from someone else and that we're then not reaching this point of burnout of, wow, where is, I've been pouring, I've been pouring, I've been pouring, and now I'm empty. And that's what causes that exhaustion, that burnout that so many of us reach. Um, so preventative on this. You don't have to reach that point. Um, but it takes time to develop this ability to realize when you're no longer accepting and you're spending all of your time pouring. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> so one more analogy that I want to give to go with this is you have to develop an ability to tune in, okay? That's the term I like to use. And I like to think of this as um, a vehicle, okay? Most of us get around by driving a car. So if you're driving your car and you notice that 
some light comes on on your dashboard, all right? Maybe it's, in an extreme case, the check engine light comes on. Are you going to keep driving for miles and miles and miles and not check, pull over, check what's wrong, and try to fix the situation? I would hope not, okay? If you have a flat tire, are you going to just keep skimming along on the rim, sparks flying everywhere? I would hope not. Like, for many of us, our cars are a very big investment, and we want to make sure that we're taking care of them and keeping up on maintenance, making sure there's enough gas in the fuel tank, all of that. So if we're not paying attention to those signals when it's saying, okay, check this, or check the oil levels, or, you know, you need to fill up your the air in your tires, like, then we're out of vehicle. And that vehicle is the the thing that gets us so many places in life, it's where, you know, it's what we depend on. Now, I want you to think about this. How many times do you ignore the signals that your body, your vehicle of your body is giving you? Maybe it's bloating or pain or sadness or loneliness or above all else, chronic symptoms of stress. Those are all huge signals to stop and to tune in and to realize what the root of the problem is of why you're feeling these these problems because I think that sometimes we just assume that it's normal. We get so used to checking out and not listening to our bodies that we think that being constantly bloated is a normal thing. That we think that having this this chronic back pain is a normal thing. Or that being lonely and sad on a regular basis is just a normal thing. It should not be a normal occurrence for us to feel those things. And if you are feeling those things, then you need to take a step back and realize that there's a reason and there's a root problem. There's there's a signal that's been ignored for maybe years that you need to address. And sometimes this can be an overwhelming thing because... If you've gone years and years without ever really paying attention to these signals, then you don't know where to start, maybe. And I hope that through following my page, you're you're starting to realize that this idea of tuning into your, your body and listening to your body and listening to your cues, whether it's mental, spiritual, or physical, that it's all correlated and that it's such so important if you're wanting to live a fulfilled life to be able to feel well overall wellness. Um, I want to do an exercise with you today that will help you to begin to just embrace this skill of tuning in. Um, And if you've never done something like this before, I don't want you to feel pressure to do it like I'm doing it. Um, As someone who has struggled with anxiety over the years at various different times, it's been worse or not so bad, but I felt like, especially right now with just everything that's going on in the world and COVID-19, you may be feeling stress. And as I said, stress is a symptom, a signal of a deeper problem, and we need to address that stress by tuning in. So a skill I love to do to tune in and just to realize that my body is all working for me and it's if it's telling me something, then I need to slow down, I need to pause, and I need to listen. So I'm going to lead you in a little exercise. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to sit up straight if you're sitting um, or you can lay down with this as well. But I want you just to close your eyes and just give yourself a moment to pause, right? So just close your eyes and I want you to place your arms alongside your rib cage and just slightly over your abdomen, okay? So you can feel your stomach as we go through this exercise. Now, this is what I call a six, four, eight count breath and it's something that I go to many times a week, often many times a day, especially right now, to help me reconnect, to help me calm down and find that peace. So it starts out by inhaling and you're going to fully expand your diaphragm 
counting to six. I'll do it with you in a moment here. And then still fully expanded, you're gonna hold that count for four seconds. And then you're going to exhale for a full eight count all the way out. And we're gonna repeat that just a few times. Um, the idea here is breath is something that is something we do all the time just on a without thinking about it. And so when we're really taking the time to think about that biological process that is so natural, it makes us realize where we may be carrying tension in our body and where those problems might be coming from. We have a tendency in our, our society nowadays to just go, 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 and to never slow down and listen. And this is, this is what causes you to, to really s actually slow down. Something as simple as breathing and to realize where you're holding negativity, where you're holding tension. So I'm going to do this with you here. Just place your arms as we were. All right. I want you to inhale deeply. Fully expanding your diaphragm like a balloon. Counting to six. And then hold for four counts here. And then exhale slowly as you count to eight. And let your fingers fall as your stomach area folds all the way in. Exhale all of that air. Okay, now repeat this again. Breathe in for six counts. Fully expanding your diaphragm like a balloon. Hold it. Don't rush this moment. Just let your mind experience this period of peace and exhale. Notice where the tension is as you release here. What's holding back? Maybe you feel it in your, your back or repeat this breath again. Hold. Exhale. Notice if maybe you're feeling something um, physically in your body that's different as you're doing this breath count. Go ahead and just keep continue. Do maybe two more cycles of these breaths. I'm just going to walk you through this as you're continuing on your own timing. That... If you're noticing something here, address it afterward. Don't just walk away from this moment noticing that maybe you're carrying tension in your shoulders and that's what's causing me your headaches that you've been having lately. Or maybe you've been having difficulty with digestion and you're realizing that this breath, this letting go is really hard for you. Um, sometimes when we're stressed out, digestion can be impaired even. All right, we'll do one more together. Everybody breathe in. <laughs> Hold. Exhale. All right, I hope that that was a tool that you can keep using. Um, some kind of breath count like that maybe this coming week if you are just feeling overwhelmed by the weight of everything that is going on in this world that you could just take a moment to yourself to tune in recognize that you need to fill your cup to allow your cup to be filled before it will ever be able to fill the cups of others and be proactive here so I love you all. Stay safe, stay healthy, and just know that I'm thinking and praying for all of you each and every day. Bye-bye.